What's up everyone, I'm Gerology, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick video about my Rust all-in-one command center tool that I built. Uh, basically what it does is it is a an auto-run application that allows you to easily execute Rust commands in the game. And it will only work if Rust is, uh, is on and you're on a server and you have auto hotkey installed, which is a free program. So... Let's get right to it. Um, right now, as you can see, my frames are at about 70, about 72, maxing out at about 72. And that's with uh, with my uh, graphic settings all the way up on high, everything's maxed out. And that is what the default settings are uh, when you first buy Rust. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the FPS boost works first. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is do a semi-boost, which will keep your graphics looking okay, but it's going to raise my FPS by a good margin. So let's go ahead and run this command. We'll go ahead and execute uh, about eight or nine different commands that change uh, graphics quality, um, rendering options, and stuff like that. Okay, I went from 72 frames to maxing out at about 118, I saw there. 118 frames. About 50 frames gained just from the semi boost. Now let's go ahead and uh, go to the max boost. Now this will boost everything up. This will lower all my graphics, make everything to the lowest of the low. This is for very, very low grade computers and laptops. So let's see where we're at now. Wow, 133. I maxed out at 133. Okay. So we went from the default settings from 72 frames all the way up to 133, 134, I'm seeing 136 in there, frames per second. Now, if that doesn't surprise you, I don't know what will. So you can enter all these commands in by hand, sure you can do that, but uh, it is tedious and I like to change mine a lot. So uh, I developed this tool uh, to work in conjunction with AutoHotKey and uh, that's exactly what it does. Um, I can turn grass on with just a click of a button, and there it is. So sometimes when I'm making YouTube videos, I like to uh, I like to turn my grass on, and you can see it plays a huge role in, in my distance, my view distance. I'm going to go ahead and crank this back up to default. It takes about six seconds to uh, to run through all the commands and finish its uh, little job there. So we'll let it do that. And everything looks a little bit better, but man, those frames back down to 70 frames. So pretty, uh, pretty big difference as you can see. Now the plugin is, is pretty cool. Uh, this is if your server runs uh, Oxide or Rust++. So you can press this to bring up the player list. So I'll execute this command. And there's all the players who are on the server. We have 27 connected players and it's, uh, it lists all the different players who are on the server. Um, over to location, basically same thing. It does the slash location. And it tells me what my coordinates are right here. Uh, it's best if you maximize the video and uh, put it at 1080p. You can see the quality of the video and the text. Um, the history command, it shows you the last 20 messages on your server. If your server runs the chat history command, or uh, plugin I should say. And they're all listed right there. And last but not least, the help command, which I don't have activated on this server. So, um, You can turn nudity on, nudity off, branding on. What branding is, is it's this little green ribbon that says Rust Alpha. We'll go ahead and turn that off really quick. And that is off, but I like to have that on when I'm recording videos so people do know that it is an alpha. And we have show UI and hide UI. Not a lot of people know about this, and I like to use this specifically when I'm making YouTube videos. Um, I like to hide my UI, and what that'll do is hide the hotbar, it'll hide everything on the screen, so all it sees is, is um, the uh, the world. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hide UI, and there it is. It will show uh, chat, though, which is eh, not always the greatest, but, you know, so it will show chat. And I'll go ahead and bring that back up so I can see everything. Um, three buttons that I have left here are suicide, ask an admin, or quit game. Now obviously suicide does what it does, it suicides you, and uh, 
You just got to be careful when you when you do this because it it will suicide you. Um, ask an admin. I click this and it says hello. Is there an admin online? We'll do that really quick. And it says hello. Is there an admin online? And then last but not least, I can click this right here and it will quit the game. It will exit out of Rust completely. I won't do that because I want to keep. I want to stay in the game while I'm making this video. Um, servers. I do have our server listed in here. Uh, I guess it's a shameless plug, I guess. I might add more in the future. If uh, if people make donations, I might add servers in to this list here. Uh, and I can hear an airdrop, but I'm not going to go for that. Info is uh, Rust Tactics is my blog that I like to update every once in a while. Playrust.com is obviously the, the main Rust website where you can check and see all the latest updates. And my support thread for uh, the Rust All-in-One Command Center. Uh, sorry, my voice is cracky. My uh, allergies are really kicking my butt. And obviously you have the exit here, which you can click. Um, you can download AutoHotKey straight through this application by just clicking right here, and it will uh, it'll download AutoHotKey that you need to actually use this uh, very simple, lightweight application. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, well, if you liked it, thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to go to the support thread and download it and uh, leave any questions there as well. I'll see you guys in the next ones. And uh, until then, happy surviving.